Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. What did Westcombe tell you about us? He didn't even tell me you were here. Fortunately, I have my own ways of finding out. Those circumstances have changed. Both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. She better be safe. She is. But whether she remains so depends wholly upon you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She just wants to talk with Leviathan. She would wake a slumbering goddess just to have a chat? Somehow I doubt the Tide Mother will take kindly to being roused on a mortal whim. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with the Archean. Tell me, what happened? The big guy woke up and went on a trip. Really? A mild way to put it. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. I don't suppose you'd cry over the Empire's losses? An intriguing suggestion. You're placing your chips on Leviathan. Not all of them. I'm not so naive as that. There are things that you must do for yourself. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. That's fine, but what about damage to the city? Your concern is appreciated, but I am prepared to accept some structural damage. Keeping the citizens safe is my chief concern, and therefore yours. And that is not all. Once the rite has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. You're basically telling us to fight the Empire alone. In a manner of speaking, but to rephrase it from our perspective, Accordo has no troops that can aid you, not amid such chaos at any rate. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? We'll help however we can. Lest you forget, this is a business deal. A flippant attitude will earn you a flippant response. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. There'll be a reckoning for you too. A leader must know when to bring out the steel. Surely you understand this. There won't be any casualties. Again, you intrigue me. You and your father are cut from different cloths. I wonder what manner of king you'll make. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steel yourselves for a full-scale battle. I first things first. Are you and Westcombe lovers? If you want gossip, go to a cafe. I, for one, am here for business. Those circumstances have changed. Both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care.
I want to see her now. So hasty. Surely you can spare a moment to talk. Now let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? Doesn't matter why she's doing this. So the Oracle can do as she pleases. A precarious attitude to take before God. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with the Archean. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Not much you can do when it comes to gods. You'd suggest I accept my city's destruction? Gotta choose what you want to protect. I wasn't expecting you to say that. Perhaps you're not as unthinking as I first thought. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. Nah, can't be bothered. Come now, we both know you want the right. I will pretend that was a joke. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Well, that puts us in a bind. Likewise. Let me rephrase. When the Rite concludes, you are responsible for the Oracle's welfare. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? Just to be clear, we're doing you a favor. <laughs> A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. <sighs> you understand what I must do. I will stop at nothing to protect my people. A difficult choice, I know. But if you try to protect everything, you'll end up protecting nothing. Madam, it's time. If I take you down...
Don't worry about me. Are you ready for this? You got what it takes? <sighs> to do what? To face your ancestors and convince them to lend you their strength. Got a long road ahead. Can you see this through? To the end? As if I have a choice. You think I like the idea of people sacrificing themselves for me? One after the other? Enough. Forget it. I thought you'd accepted your duty. I thought wrong. <laughs> 